Hello, this is Colleen Celeste again. Today we're going to do a how-to video. One on psychometry. Psychometry is also known as clairsentience. That is when we get feelings through touch. Uh, every one of us do it every day. We shake each other's hands. Um, when you get next to someone, sometimes you just immediately know, gosh, this is a great person. I really like them. Uh, you're picking up their energy. Um, I think, uh, at least for me, uh, psychometry is when I get inside someone's aura, uh, their energy field. And I know immediately um, if they're in a good mood, if they're in a bad mood. Sometimes I actually kind of take on those moods. I have to be careful about that. But that's how we have, since the beginning of time, known that we like someone or we dislike someone. And just because when you get next to them, you, you get that ew uh, feeling, doesn't mean they're a bad person, just means that their energy and yours doesn't really match well. So, but psychometry, I do it in my readings all the time. In fact, that's generally even more how I do a reading uh, than my cards. Uh, my cards are just an extension of that. They help me see the bigger picture. Um, when you do psychometry, and I'm going to do a couple of videos on this because I think that it's going to take a little time, but I want to give you kind of a general idea in this video, okay? But I always hold something, and I prefer metal. Now, you can hold anything. I've hold, held people's um, um, fabric, a coat or a jacket, but I prefer metal because metal stores our aura. And our aura consists of energy, okay? And so I think that if we uh, hold things like that, or at least for me, um, your aura is stored in that object, okay? And so that then becomes my antenna into you, okay? And things that are happening in your life or about to happen in your life. So it's energy that's stored in objects. When I hold it, I take a deep breath and I clear my mind and the very first thing I see, I say. I have learned over the years, do not try to uh, figure out what it means. Just say it. Because a lot of times, these are pieces of a puzzle that don't belong to you, okay? So it may not mean anything to me, but it may mean everything to the person I'm reading. So I have learned over the years just to trust what I'm feeling or I'm seeing and say it. And that's what you have to do and your first step is play with it. Work with friends and family and, you know, and whatever. Hold their ring, their watch, their car keys, whatever, and blank your mind, take a deep breath, and just tell them the first things you see. And I think a good way, too, is also have them ask you a question, and don't you try to decide what it is. Just say the very first thing that you see in your mind or feel, and you will find very quickly that you are doing psychometry and you are picking up on others. Try it. You'll like it. And I will do another video and give you more of an example of how to do this, but one step at a time. Play with it. Try it. Important, do not try to uh, make sense of what you see. Um, because sometimes the things you see are completely, just don't make any sense to you, but they make all the sense in the world to the person you're reading. So uh, that's the hardest thing in this, is uh, don't judge, don't try to um, analyze it. Just say it. And I'll talk to you later.